Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another quick video on my carving tip series um, and today I want to talk about stock removal um, and making sure that you go with the grain and um, basically this is just to prevent you from ruining a perfectly good piece of wood um, and what I mean by that is if we take this um, little blank as an example so obviously I've got a spoon up here um, I've got the handle down here and what I want to do is remove this material on the side um, now obviously you can do that with stop cuts um, as you may have seen in one of my other videos but if you don't want to do that and you want to use your axe um, especially if you're working on your axe skills it's a very good way of honing those skills very easily um, and what, I'm, what you need to do is make sure that you're cutting in the right direction so really for something like this what that means is not cutting towards the bowl of the spoon um, it may seem very simple but again if you're new to uh, carving into axe work um, unless someone tells you you know you're not going to know um, and what you need to do is basically start from where the bowl starts its curve up to the handle and work your way down and um, by doing that you'll only remove the material going this way if you turn it the other way and you start trying to cut down towards the bowl it's very very easy even if you're being very gentle um, to actually cut into the bowl or even cut a section off of the bowl. Um, now again that can be salvageable, I've done it several times because I haven't been paying attention, um, but really if you're going to do it you may as well do it properly first time. So what I'll do, let me bring the camera a bit closer in and I'll show you exactly what it is that I mean. Right then guys, so what I've done, I've actually drawn on on the bottom of this piece here a, a sort of a, another bowl if you like, just to sort of show you what I mean. Um, so I'm going to start off coming down this way. If this was the bowl that I was trying to work to, very very quickly, even if I was just trying to work up to this point here, and I start coming down with my axe, so that's, that's taken me to the very edge of the bowl. Now if I want to try and remove more material here, what's going to happen, even if I'm being very, very careful with this axe. I'm now right at the very, very sort of edge of that line. In fact, I've just gone slightly past it. Um, hopefully you can see that there, just here. Um, and if I want to carry on, I can sort of get in a little bit closer up here, which is fine. But then as soon as I start coming down, I'm taking material off of that bowl. And it's very difficult not to do that. Um, so, what really I want to be doing, and again, yeah, that's probably about as close as I can get, and there's still a fair bit of material on there. So if I revert back to the original bowl, which is the one that I'm actually working towards, and this is going to be my handle just here, what I can actually do is come right up to this edge and get very close into it. Hopefully you can see that properly. I'm just making sure you can see on the camera there. And I can split down this line very very close you need to make sure obviously you're keeping it even on the back edge as well and that's where an axe like this uh, which is a, a sort of a, a, particularly a carving axe lets you get in very close up here with the tip you can do it with a normal axe as well um, this just happens to be the one that I'm using Finish that up, and hopefully you can see there, guys. Um, although the line is sort of missing in a couple of small places there, that's pretty much bang on with the line that I drawn. Um, so by going with the grain that way, rather than trying to go against the grain, especially up where your bowl is, you can retain all of the bowl shape. You can retain all of your lines without um, without ruining any pieces of material. Right then guys, well I hope that was useful. Um, as I say, that's just my method for making sure that I can use my axe to remove a lot of material very quickly. Obviously if I'd done that with a knife, um, it would have taken much longer, although you can have more control with a knife obviously. Um, but if you do want to use your axe, and especially if you're practicing your carving skills, this will allow you to get really, really close to your marked on template um, without actually ruining anything, without accidentally splitting off part of the bowl, uh, which basically means, you know, if you do salvage it, it means your bowl is smaller than you intended it to be. And obviously if you're working to a design and you've got something in mind, you don't want to be removing too much material. Um, but anyway, guys, um, comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll join me next time. Thanks, guys.